in the starship show this week. New floor and wall cavity textures are introduced as the unreal engine is upgraded and fleet yard delivers the development build of the game to its kickstarter backers. Some new changes went into the dev build of Starship Simulator this week that highlight in particular just how detailed the finished simulation is aiming to be. As part of the ongoing interior changes to the Magellan class explorer developer Dan Govier created new materials for the game to use as part of the carpet texture and insulation for inside wall cavity spaces. The materials take advantage of a system that comes packed with the Unreal Engine called Nanite Tessellation. In very simple terms what the Nanite Tessellation system is able to do is create textured surfaces for objects that appear to be very complex but are delivered without the usual heavy graphics processing overheads and the effect can be quite startling to see. In a tweet earlier in the week Starship were able to show off the tessellation working to display both the shagpile carpet in close up and the wall cavity insulation. You may of course be asking yourself why this stuff is important and why have super detailed carpet and wall insulation in cavity spaces. The simple answer is that in the long run the game will require the cavity spaces behind wall panelling and under floors to be accessed to carry out routine maintenance or execute damage control and affect repairs to the vessel. It's the same reason every cable, pipe and weld between joints exists on the ship. At some point the player will need to access these areas and will therefore see them. Following the successful conclusion of the Kickstarter campaign the team at Fleet Yard Studios began working through the mountain of admin associated with delivering some of the associated rewards for backers. Amongst those rewards for anyone that backed at the captain level or above is access to ongoing in development builds of the game as it progresses. These dev builds of the game whilst they come with the caveat that functions in the build may occasionally be broken can afford a fascinating insight into where development focus is happening in the game at a given moment and of course how far along the overall build is. As a stark example of this if you've only ever played the demo version of Starship Simulator then you may not be aware that the entire ship exterior for the Magellan class vessel is currently undergoing a complete remodelling. A while back we produced a video on this very subject that shows off some of the early design work so that you can see where it's going. You'll find that video linked on screen now if you haven't yet seen it. This week I'm very pleased to report that Fleet Yard Studios released Steam Keys to the 3150 backers of the games Kickstarter at the captain level or above to grant them access to the aforementioned development build. If you've not seen yours yet then check the email address that you signed up to the Kickstarter with and you should see it sitting there waiting for you complete with instructions on how to unlock the build via Steam. The latest build of the game upgrades the engine to Unreal 5.4.1 which should improve performance over the previous version but Fleet Yard are looking for feedback from players to ascertain if that is indeed the case. Right now in the dev build you can also hit the I key to remove wall and floor panels on the deck that you're on to view details behind those panels that are normally hidden. Again it's worth underlining that the build you're accessing is very much under construction so you will likely see some odd behaviour or things broken but it is nonetheless interesting to see the ongoing construction work on the ship and its functionality for yourself first hand. Remember that Fleet Yard Studios usually livestream some of the development work for the game a couple of times a week. You'll find their YouTube channel linked below this video if you want to check those out and generally speaking the latest development build of the game is updated to Steam every week late on Friday or early Saturday. Have you noticed a performance change with the latest version of Unreal? Did you get access to the development build of the game and what's your favourite change that you found on the ship so far? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to directly support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join us on Patreon. 
That's it for now. Clear all moorings, thrusters to one quarter, helm, take us out. <laughs>